As Hillary Clinton stumped for votes in March 2016, Russian intelligence was burrowing into computers at her campaign and the Democratic National Committee, Mueller's prosecutors say, targeting more than 300 people. The charges say it was the work of 12 officers of Russian military intelligence. It's the most detailed accusation yet of Russian election meddling, announced just as President Trump was being welcomed by the Queen of England. And some have questioned what's behind the timing, just as Mr. Trump is preparing to meet Vladimir Putin Monday. Brief President Trump about these allegations earlier this week. The president is fully aware of the department's actions today. The charges say in late July, the Russians tried for the first time to hack into servers in Clinton's personal campaign office. The same day, President Trump said this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Prosecutors say the Russians set up DCLeaks.org to release hacked material, falsely claiming it was run by Americans. And the charges don't name WikiLeaks, but they leave no doubt it was another conduit the Russians used to heighten the impact on the election. According to court documents, just as the Democratic National Committee was about to begin, WikiLeaks messaged the Russians, if you have anything Hillary related, we want it in the next two days. Prosecutors say the Russians created a fake persona named Guccifer 2.0 and wrote to a person in regular contact with the Trump campaign asking, did you find anything interesting in the docs I posted? While that person isn't named in the indictment, it was Roger Stone, a Trump campaign advisor. His lawyer says tonight Stone had no involvement in the hacking. Prosecutors also say a congressional candidate asked Guccifer for stolen documents about an opponent and got them. But today's charges don't accuse anyone in the U.S. of knowingly helping the Russian hackers. There is no allegation in this indictment that any American citizen committed a crime. And there's no claim in the indictment that the hacking affected the election outcome. Pete Williams, NBC News at the Justice Department. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.